After 11 hours of deliberation, a former Rock Hill officer was found not guilty of assault after a controversial arrest caught on camera last summer. This morning, Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us outside the York County Family Courthouse with the very latest reactions. Uh, Richard, you've been following this story from the beginning. Uh, tell us about some of the reactions in the last 12 hours. Yeah, there were a lot of reactions. Good morning to you, Ben. Good Thursday morning, everyone. A lot of reactions that happened during that uh, testimony and after the verdict was uh, read. People on one side for Officer Moreno overjoyed. Those on Travis Price's side saying there was something missing and what they said was missing was justice. In the end, it took a jury more than 11 hours of deliberation to agree that fired Rock Hill Police Officer Jonathan Moreno was not guilty of assaulting Travis Price last summer during an incident that went viral and caused unrest in Rock Hill. The state had focused much of its case on several different angles of the incident caught on surveillance video from a gas station, police body cameras, and a cell phone video. But that was not enough evidence for the jury who returned the not guilty verdict against a former officer who served for 10 years on the force before the city fired and charged him for assaulting Travis Price, who was standing near the officers when Moreno approached him. Afterwards, Moreno's lawyers said they were pleased with the outcome. We relieved, we glad that both sides got an opportunity to tell their side, and we're just very fortunate, and we want to thank, thank the jury. But not everyone was happy with the verdict, including the now former president of the Rock Hill branch of the NAACP, who said that the decision shows a deeper issue in the country of race. For me, the jury decided not on the law, in my opinion, but decided the case on do we award a black man or a white looking man. And it's not known and now what Moreno will do. Uh, we can tell you that there are lawsuits against the city of Rock Hill, one of, or for Travis Price, and we expect one civil suit as far as wrongful termination to come from Jonathan Moreno. We're here in York County. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte. So in other words, it doesn't look like this thing is quite over quite yet. Richard, thank you.